if I think of old movies, immediately when you ask that question, I think of The Graduate. The script was perfection. The casting was so solid. And the, even the soundtrack, you know, when you hear... When you hear Simon and Garfunkel, you just, you just immediately remember the scene and you feel the emotion he was feeling when he was looking for her in the college. When the King's Speech came out, and I said, okay, I'll watch it, you know. I was blown away because the humanity of this, this family and it didn't matter that he was, I mean, it mattered that he was the king, but it was just how he overcame these obstacles and all the people in his life and his wife and his kids. And I just was, I was blown away by this movie. No, I, 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 yeah, I think that's a very good selection. I thought so too. We're gonna I was impressed by the Brothers Bloom, the filmmaking prowess of the directing, the, the timing, the actors. I mean, Ruffalo and, 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 um, and my man uh, Brody and, and uh, Rachel Weisz. I just was like, wow, this is a movie that needed to get, go see The Brothers Bloom. It is is fascinating, but before that, I mean, I remember watching The Mission with Robert De Niro, Jeremy Irons, (laughs) walking out of that theater in tears, in tears, because of, like you said, the humanity that is expressed and so beautifully and shot so passionately. All right, Paulie.